We do have a special guest tonight. Uh, he is an IZW wrestler named Copycat. Copycat, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. I like to be called the worst in the world, Copycat. The, the worst in the world, Copycat. Duly noted, duly noted. All right, all right. Uh, welcome to the show. We want to get started tonight by sort of uh, going into what it is you do in IZW. Educate us on your role in IZW. Basically, basically, to make a long story short, I kick ass. I like to uh, beat the shit out of people, you know. I like making everything go my way, because that's the way I like it. All right. Sierra, feel free to jump in here in this interview as well. Um, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sierra. I, I think you have a question. Um, could you give the listeners a brief background on how you got started in professional wrestling? Yeah, no problem. Well, one day I was sitting around thinking how I could just be an electrician forever and not like what I'm doing and have an interest in wrestling that I've always had since I was a child. And everyone wants to follow up on a dream. Am I correct? I think so. Mm-hmm. All right, so I decided to uh, go get trained. I was doing what they say, like yard wrestling, you know what I mean, the backyard stuff. But I didn't think I knew anything legitly to do this professionally, so I looked up online, found the uh, FCW training school, moved down to Florida, took everything I had, sold it so I didn't have the money to make it, went through the training class there, I passed through that training class, got the main event, the wrestling show at the FCW, and uh, after that, I've been killing it ever since. Now, when you were in that, when, when were you in FCW, like, who, who, were, who were you in a class with at FCW? Oh, yeah, I wrestled my main event show against a, a man named Ronnie Gray. He is a, a bodybuilder. He likes to do competitions. The most uh, noticeable person you would probably know was Ryan Howe. He was on the Tough Enough show. They called him Skidmark, even though he doesn't like that name, but everyone's going to call him that anyways. He was there, uh, a woman named Mercedes. She was there. And you got Milton Hightower. A lot of good people that were there, but only half the people that started that class actually finished it. Hmm. Okay, including you. Uh, congratulations, by the way. Uh, so you left FCW, and what happened next? Say that again? You left FCW and went where next? Well, I moved back to Texas, in East Texas, and uh, started wrestling there. I did a show there in a place called Kilgore, but ultimately, I've been hearing about this show. IZW is up north. And uh, I heard it was um, a great show and something I really wanted to be a part of. So I moved to the Panhandle of Texas, started uh, doing a bunch of various shows around there until I met a few other wrestlers down at the TNA Gut Check and uh, word of mouth travels and makes you know I'm where I wanted to be, and that was in IZW. Okay. Now, as I understand it, there is a pay-per-view coming up that you're going to be a part of that you wanted to talk about tonight. Uh, tell us what you're, tell us, first of all, tell us about the pay-per-view, what it's called, when it's going to be, and then tell us exactly what your role in that pay-per-view is going to be. Oh, yeah, it's going to be, uh, May 11th here coming up Saturday, IZW Coronation. And I'll be doing an Impact X Championship match against, uh, the guy that calls himself the Nemesis, Damian Morte, which I don't fucking like that dude, really. But, we are going to have a brawl, and it's going to be in a cage. And from each corner of the cage, from one corner diagonally to another corner, there's a tight rope, and that's for each four corners. So it makes an X in the, at the top of the cage, and that's where the championship belt will be placed at. And the first person who can climb up the cage to the tight rope to get the belt will be the champion. But before I win that championship, I really want to inflict pain into Damien Morte because he stabbed me in the back and I really, really do not appreciate that at all. But on the IZW Coronation, there are so many other matches on there. It's going to be one hellacious pay-per-view. It's going to be really exciting. <laughs> okay, now in terms of your issues with Damien Morte, explain to me exactly a little bit of the background as to how you two came to be facing each other and what what are some of the issues that exist between you? Uh, let's, let's, uh, wind it back, I don't know, two and a half months or something like that. I was holding the tag team championships myself. I was holding two championships, got stripped from me that night, and that was at Violent Valentine in February. Well, Morte came up to me later on 
one an ally with the worst in the world. And he talked a pretty good game, and I don't get fooled often, but I thought he was a man of his word. People call him nuts, crazy, kind of a little psychotic or whatever, but I seem to bond with him really well. So that night I helped him win the championship in the TLC match against Jermaine Johnson. His ass fell from the fucking ladder all the way to the damn ground, and I went out there, put Jermaine Johnson through a table, picked his uh, limp carcass, carcass off the ground and carried him up the ladder to have him win. Okay, not a big deal. I did not feel bad about doing that because I thought we were teaming up. Well, the next pay-per-view was IZW March Mayhem. And it was supposed to be a four-way, false count anywhere match for the, cha- for the Impact Championship. You had Johnny Z, Jermaine Johnson, Morte, and the worst in the world, copycat. Well, it, it turned out to be a three-way match. So me and Morte were going to team up, beat the crap out of uh, Johnson, and whoever can get the victory will get the victory. You know, I wouldn't have no hard feelings if he got upset, and I thought he was the same way. Well, that night, his sorry ass was down. Morte's sorry ass was down. I hit Johnson with the doppelganger. Well, I'm going for the pin. I hit the one count, the two count, and right when I was about to hit the three count and win the championship, Morte took me, threw me down, and stole my victory. Now, who, who the fuck does that? Would you do that to your buddy, your ally, somebody you thought you could trust? Absolutely not. Well, his ass does. I know that. And that sure just helped piss me off. And then the next, what, two weeks, they are doing the Impact Player of the Year tournament. And I was facing his Bobby Starr, which was an easy victory I had. But his stupid ass got me to lose again. I got tired. I thought we were supposed to help each other, but all I was doing was helping him, and he was fucking me, and I ain't doing that no more. So, fuck him. So pretty Oops. much people are just kind of shitting on you on their way to the top. Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, man, this year, man, it has not been the year. Even though I won the tag team championships, I got shit from it. Help someone else assist and get in championships, but got screwed out of a championship. Hell, last time I really got what I wanted the one night, but it had to be about three months ago, and that's a long time for me to get what I want, and I don't like not getting what I want. <laughs> All right, so in terms of coming into this pay-per-view on Saturday, uh, do you have a direct message for Morte? I'm really hoping that he brings his A-game. He's been there. He's done an Impact X match before, but he's never done an Impact X match with the worst in the world. And it will be something that won't be forgotten. It will be straight br- brutal, straight insane, and straight everything that he loves, but I'm going to take all of that from him. Well, folks, there you hear it from Copycat, IZW pay-per-view coming up this Saturday night. Where can we find the pay-per-view, and what's the damage going to be to the average viewer? It's called IZW Coronation. It's May 11th. This Saturday, you can go to gfl.com to order the pay-per-view, or you can go to izwrestling.com, and it'll probably have a link there to show how to order the pay-per-view. It's not that hard if you um, actually type in the words GFL, and like you can't misspell it, you'll find it. All right. Well, folks, that is the worst in the world copycat. He's had enough. He's not taking this shit anymore, and he's going to get his revenge. Mm-hmm. The ITW pay per view on Saturday. Copycat, thanks for coming in, man. Hey, uh, Sierra, I didn't hear you talk much. What, you scared me? Oh, hush. <laughs> you might be the worst yeah, in the you. world, but you don't scare me, honey. Get your life. <laughs> Anyways. Believe me, brother. She don't, scare, she don't scare too easy. I've tried, and it don't work, man. No. <laughs> and if I could say one more thing. Uh, me, go ahead. me, and Morte, we get called deranged and crazy, and, like, all these bad words, like, we're lost in our minds. His dumb ass might be lost in his mind, but the worst in the world copy shit, I probably got, I had the most level in the whole damn company. I, like, what's so hard about it? I have goals. I know what I want. I think about what I'm going to do. I execute what I want to do. And what's psychotic and crazy about that? Just because I'm mean, just because I'm let's say, brutal in my um, actions, my tactics. It makes no sense. I've seen people do way worse than me. But, but, 
they can't live with it. I can live with it, so it don't bother me one bit. Well, brother, you've got every chance in the world to shut his mouth on Saturday night. We wish you the best of luck, and again, we thank you for coming in to tell us about your eye pay per view on Saturday night. Hey, thanks for having me. And this Saturday night, IDW Coronation in May 11th, Impact X Championship match. It'll be something to remember. All right. Well, thanks for coming in. Mark, there you have it. So, IDW pay per view, Saturday night, May 11th. Sierra, what yeah. an interview. <laughs> Yeah, um, copycat versus, uh, Damian Morte for the, uh, Impact Division Championship, um, and an Impact X match. Um, a couple other matches is going to be on there. Um, everybody's favorite here, Angry Marks, Bobby Starr, will be taking on Jordan Jacobs in the finals of the Impact Player in, of the Year tournament. Johnny Z will be taking on Double D for IZW Championship and loads more on the card. All right. Well, that's uh, that's the lineup for the IZW pay-per-view on Saturday, so be sure to check that out at IZWrestling.com. I think you said you can find a link to the pay-per-view there. I didn't catch mm-hmm. the other website, but uh, IZWrestling.com should direct you to the iPay-per-view. 